And so Vera Rubin is the person that we named our next computer after. Isn't that a good idea? I know. Okay, Vera Rubin is designed to address this fundamental challenge that we have. The amount of computation necessary for AI is skyrocketing. The demand for NVIDIA GPUs is skyrocketing. It's skyrocketing because models are increasing by a factor of 10, an order of a magnitude every single year. And not to mention, as I mentioned, O1's introduction was an inflection point for AI. Instead of a one-shot answer, inference is now a thinking process. And in order to teach the AI how to think, reinforcement learning and very significant computation was introduced into post-training. It was no long, it's no longer supervised fine-tuning or otherwise known as imitation learning or supervision training. You now have reinforcement learning, essentially the computer trial, trying different iterations itself, learning how to perform a task. The amount of computation for pre-training, pre for post-training, for test time scaling has exploded as a result of that. And now every single inference that we do Instead of just one shot, the number of tokens, you could just see the AIs think, which we appreciate. The longer it thinks, oftentimes it produces a better answer. And so test time scaling causes the number of tokens to be generated increase by 5x every single year. Not to mention, meanwhile, the race is on for AI. Everybody's trying to get to the next level. Everybody's trying to get to the next frontier. And every time they get to the next frontier, the last generation AI tokens the cost starts to, starts to decline, about a factor of 10x every year. The 10x decline every year is actually telling you something different. It's saying that the race is so intense. Everybody's trying to get to the next level, and somebody is getting to the next level. And so therefore, all of it is a computing problem. The faster you compute, the sooner you can get to the next level of the next frontier. All of these things are simultaneously happening at the same time. And so we decided that we have to advance the state of the art of computation every single year, not one year left behind. And now we've been shipping GB200s a year and a half ago. Right now we're in full-scale manufacturing of GB300. And if Vera Rubin is going to be in time for this year, it must be in production by now. And so today I can tell you that Vera Rubin is in full production. AI. This is the story of how we built it. The architecture, a system of six chips, engineered to work as one, born from extreme co-design. It begins with Vera, a custom-designed CPU, double the performance of the previous generation, and the Rubin GPU. Vera and Rubin are co-designed from the start to bi-directionally and coherently share data faster and with lower latency. Then, 17,000 components come together on a Vera Rubin compute board. High-speed robots place components with micron precision before the Vera CPU and two Rubin GPUs complete the assembly. Capable of delivering 100 petaflops of AI, five times that of its predecessor. AI needs data, fast. Connect X9 delivers 1.6 terabits per second of scale-out bandwidth to each GPU. Bluefield 4 DPU offloads storage and security, so compute stays fully focused on AI. The Vera Rubin compute tray, completely redesigned with no cables, hoses, or fans, featuring a Bluefield 4 DPU, eight Connect X9 NICs, two Vera CPUs, and four Rubin GPUs, the compute building block of the Vera Rubin AI supercomputer. Next, the sixth generation MVLink switch. Moving more data than the global internet, connecting 18 compute nodes, scaling up to 72 Rubin GPUs, operating as one. Then, Spectrum X Ethernet Photonics, the world's first Ethernet switch with 512 lanes and 200 gigabit capable co-packaged optics scale out thousands of racks into an AI factory. 
15,000 engineer years since design began, the first Vera Rubin MVL-72 rack comes online. Six breakthrough chips, 18 compute trays, nine MV-Link switch trays, 220 trillion transistors, weighing nearly two tons. One giant leap to the next frontier of AI. Rubin is here.